I was about to give up, but then yeah, by the time I decided to be like, ah, you know, this is going to be the last day because I don't want to bother you that much. But then I ended up getting the number. My name is Jan Mohamed Diallo, and today, April 4th, 2021, is my wedding day. It's really a special day for me. Something that I've been looking for since 2021. My name is Aisitu Diallo. Today's my wedding day, finally. I'm so happy, oh my God. It's a dream come true. I always dream about, you know, getting married, finding love of my life. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm thankful for like everybody that showed up and showed love and support. I'm also grateful to my husband and I am happy to be his wife and I'm honored for him to be my husband for life. Praise Allah for sending me you, my love You found your home, it's here with me And I'm here with you Now let me let you know You've opened my heart I was always thinking that love was wrong But everything was changed when you came along oh, And there's a couple of words I wanna say for the rest of my life, I'll be with you. I'll stay by your side, honest and true, to the end of my time. I'll be loving you, loving you for the rest of my life. Through days and nights, I'll thank Allah for opening my eyes. Now and forever. I started talking to this girl named Aisat Diallo in 2012. So I remember one day I was in Senegal. I didn't even think about coming to America, but she, she was already here. And I texted her saying, oh, I want to marry you. She was like, no, nah, I'm a kid. I, don't, I can't talk about marriage right now. I was like, okay, no problem. I know, I understand. I really knew her, but she didn't know me. So when I, I came to the state in 2016, you know, I still uh, kept in touch with her. So we were talking through Messenger and all of that. It wasn't easy because I had to, you know, introduce myself, get her to know me, and then get, uh, get to know her. It's like, you know, it's like try to build that connection. And then uh, it wasn't easy even getting her number, to be honest. Because I, I was about to give up, but then yeah, by the time I decided to be like, ah, you know, this is going to be the last day because I don't want to bother you that much. But then I ended up getting the, getting the number. So we kept talking, talking, you know, it's like after years. And then in 2017, I remember telling her that I want to marry her again for the second time. And now here, after six months of her saying yes, we got married. You would ask me how, how I found out she was the, the right one. There's no actual answer to that because it was just, you know, I believed it. And it's something that happened to me once in a lifetime. Just believe in something without any doubt. So it's just like you take it, put it into me without me knowing. And I believe, believed it. I would say that's God that told, you know, it's like made me believe that she's the one. And I never gave up. There are so many things special about her. Not because I love her, but it's just, you know, 
I've seen her living with the family, and I know she's a very caring person. She cares a lot about people that she loves. That's really, you know, triggers me, and that's, that's really something special for me. You know, I really value family, so I respect my family, and I see that, you know, she respects her family and cares for her family, so, you know, that's, that's really something really special, and then it's something that, you know, that I've been looking for. She's real. She tells you what, you know, how she feels without, you know, any fake, you know, or trying to lie to you. It's like she want, she, she want to tell you the truth. If I need to list all the things, it would have been here for like hours and I wouldn't even finish. Yeah, she is the love of my life. We came from the same place. He moved from Guinea when I was very young, so I didn't know him, but like I knew his parents and he knew me. Because I even heard some rumors, like after me and him got engaged, he told me that since he was a little boy, he always said that he was going to marry me, he was going to marry me. So I didn't know that until me and him got engaged. So everybody started saying that. I came to the United States first. He was in Senegal, but me and we stuck on Facebook. I mean, I don't really remember, but he, he, said, he said it to me. One time he did ask me if I, if I would marry him. But he said I, I answered, I think that at that time I was like 13, 14, maximum 15. But I, I responded that I'm too young for marriage and like I'm trying to focus on my school and stuff, you know. Three years after I came here, then he joined, he came too, so then, um, we started talking more. By the time, like I had already moved to Ohio, so he was in New York. So we would talk, and then we become friends, and very close. And he did, he did say it again, like after I got like a little bit older, like 18, 19. And then I always said, no, like, you know, school, school. And then he still kept on going till I get like 20, 21. A lot of men, when they ask you for marriage and you say you're not available, like they will stop talking to you. But for him, he wasn't the case. Like he would still talk to me, come and check on me and all of that, which I really appreciate. He's a good guy, patient, he's honest, religious and all of that. And like, that's basically like the criteria that I'm looking for in a man. As long as religious, uh, you close your family, you respect your, like all the people, you love me, that's what I'm looking for. He really, really, really like super caring and very loving. As a woman, that's the kind of man you want to look for. When he said he loved me, like he was really, really sincere. I will say it's the best decision of my life that I ever made. And I'm happy and thankful. Bao mango go to me matama, tona jungo mango go to mbo jama, ola poka kido wanda wa yu wa jama, ikide te mi mantoro mi her skirtama, baby girl mi ka hantu me la tana, ko wala tana nko mi wana nola, masidi ke ma hantu no hala ko gika, I'm 
sentir le mal devant nos amis et même devant nos ennemis que
gets hard, I will never give up on her. I'm patient enough when it comes to her. And I believe that, you know, Allah is gonna make our relationship as great as he can so that, you know, people are gonna get inspired from us in the future. I'm willing you know, to work this relationship. I am willing to do everything it takes to make sure this works. I will be loving you and only you for the rest of my life, inshallah. I'm really, really thankful to be your wife. I ask Allah and I will pray to Him to bless us with beautiful children that we will raise a better life. I hope we will build like a, a strong family, a love group forever. It's a long story, but I want to wrap it up by just saying to you, I said to Diallo, my wife, that I love you. I'm so grateful to have you in my life, and I know we are going to be a wonderful couple. May Allah uh, make Baraka to, into our relationship. I would say Alhamdulillah to everything that is going to happen and to everything that has happened. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I 
I just want to tell you that I love you, Cherno, so much, and I promise to be the best wife you could ever have, inshallah. <laughs>